Hi guys, welcome back with Yamamoto Pro Show complete lineup result of 12 contestants. So Nathan Style from UK won his pro card at Yamamoto Pro Qualifier Show and very next day he made his pro debut with 290 pounds of physique. He ended up taking last place. Representing Croatia Adnan Gusto Aduni has made transition to open division this time and most likely it was his last show. I think he took this decision because of his family and health. He finished taking 11th place. 10th place finisher Fabio Roman Nolo is very thick and dense in his upper half. He has very freakish and cartoonish look and especially his well-built delts are main strength of his physique. But I think he still needs to improve his lower half to reach higher spots in competitions. Turkish bodybuilder Mustafa Yildiz recently earned his pro card and he has arrived at 9th place in his first professional show. His shape is good, his conditioning is very impressive for his pro debut show. Very small waist with magnificent vacuum but according to the current standards of open class, he needs to add more mass to fill his frame so he can perform better in open division. Anton Bipas from Germany also made his pro debut in Yamamoto Pro 2022. He brought decent conditioning but he did not have enough size to fight with the front runners of the show. He had to settle for 8th place. We have another pro debut. Harry Harris from England has finally made his pro debut after 3 years since earning his pro card at the same show. He has managed to take 7th place out of 12 contestants in Yamamoto Pro Show. From Italy, Pasquale D'Angelo has made transition from 212's open division to compete in his homeland and for representing his country at the show. He managed to beat half lineup and finished taking 6th place. I look pretty good. Roman Fritz from Germany has brought the heaviest and fuller package by far this year and he landed at 5th place, which is the highest placing for Roman since 2016 Tampa Pro. In front and in side shots, he looks amazing but in the back, he's missing density which he has to rectify but finishing at 5th place after the comeback from hip replacement surgery is certainly an incredible achievement. Jamie Christian has arrived at 4th place. He has made some significant improvements this time. Especially size wise, he was more than 300 pounds on stage and he looks very impressive in front shots. Primarily his trademark front lat spread is magnificent but I think he was not sharp enough in back shot although he has made drastic improvements in his back. So hopefully we see more improvements in Jamie for his next show on a classic UK in less than 2 weeks. Andrea Mosey wanted to win the show but he had to settle for 3rd place. He looks very thick and full in front shots but from back it looks like his body is very tired. He has so much acne and in the comparison his back looks washed out this time. It was his 6th show of the year and he's still planning to compete in Iron Classic UK and then obviously in Olympia. But I think he should give rest to his body and skip Iron Classic UK and solely focus on Mr. Olympia as he already has enough points for the Olympia qualification. Muhammad Al Imam has taken second place in his first show of the season. He had serious car accident last year but he is back on track. He looks very impressive. He has amazing thick dense physique. All he needs to improve is conditioning and have better control on his midsection. But this time his midsection is much better than his last show. So finally Vlaso Horushko has won his first pro show and he's going to step on Mr. Olympia stage very first time. This is his all time best physique by far we have witnessed in Yamamoto pro show. His posing routine was drastically improved, his conditioning was better, he was full and round and especially I saw him hitting almost all shots including front and back double bicep shot which he always missed in his posing routines in previous shows. So congratulations to Vlad for his first pro win and Olympia qualification. 
and uh, thank you so much guys for helping me to get 100,000 subscribers it took more than five years to reach that level but I'm very happy and extremely thankful of each and everyone for supporting me and my work and it really means a lot to me so keep supporting and stay tuned thanks for watching